So I had a completely different video idea in mind for today, but I found out actually that they are opening the Trinity site tomorrow. So I decided to drive down south a little bit. I found this cool little camping spot. I've known about this spot for a while. I've never stayed here. I just have always wanted to check it out. And uh, yeah, so I'll be hitting up the Trinity site tomorrow. For those of you that don't know, that's where they detonated the first ever, tested the first ever nuclear bomb. Um, so it's only open twice a year because it's still an active missile range. They still test there, so they can't have it open to the public all the time. But it's something that's been on my list for a really long time. So I'm pretty excited to go check it out. Now, I'm going to explore around here for a little bit. I'm going to go check out the river. I don't know about the fishing there and all that stuff, but uh, I'm really excited also to partner with Vibestrong. They have actually given me permission to use their music in my videos. Um, so the link will be down in the description to their Spotify, their Apple Music. Um, I'll link their Instagram. I think they have a Facebook page. I'm going to put all those links in it. But um, enjoy this song by Vibestrong. I absolutely love it. Check it out while I explore this area. Right, let's see if I can make it down here in the van okay, huh? I must say, you inspire Hopes and dreams of a musician Cut all the ties me down Blow it in the wind I cannot say this was my plan I'll be floating 
accidentally uh, slept in longer than I had intended to, but I was asleep. I just, I slept in really, really good. So uh, let's get out there though. Let's head over to the Trinity site today. I'm actually anticipating that it's gonna be a little bit, a uh, little bit busy up here. I'm, I'm getting like, there's, Usually when I'm driving a road like this, it's just a two lane highway. It's, you know, seven in the morning. And uh, usually there's not a whole lot of traffic, but there's a ton, there's a lot of campers. There's a lot of like vans. There's a lot of out of state plates. And uh, I kind of feel bad because I drive slow. I drive so slow. I, I, I do the exact speed limit or five miles under when I'm in the van. Um, and most of the time, just, just in case I see something that I want to uh, stop and take a picture of. So I drive so slow, so it's like everybody's just passing me. But I actually, I think it's going to be pretty busy there. But today is going to be a good day, it looks like. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, wind, which is going to be really nice because the wind has just been killing me these last few weeks. I'm very excited. Can't wait to get there. I'm like 25 minutes away right now. So I... I took a wrong turn somewhere <laughs> on this dirt road for a while and uh, I ended up on the north side of a locked gate. Okay, so I found the right road. Now I'm on the right road. Google tried to take me through a shortcut, but you cannot take a shortcut onto a US military base. So Google was like, uh, here, this is a, a faster route, but you, you can't do that. So they opened the gate like 20 minutes ago and we've been kind of moving in, in waves but you can see there's, actually, let's see if I can get that to focus. Quite the line of traffic behind me and in front of me. So tips and tricks, I guess, would be to uh, get here early, maybe line up at the gate before they even open. Uh, that way you don't have to wait as long in this line. Could have been here a little bit earlier, but you know, wrong turns and missing signs and not paying attention and stuff. Trinity site is where the first atomic bomb was tested at 529 a.m. Mountain Time on July 16, 1945. The 19 kiloton explosion not only led to a quick end to the war in the Pacific, but also ushered the world into the atomic age. All life on Earth has been touched by the event which took place here. The 51,500 acre area was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1975. The landmark includes Base Camp, where the scientists and support group lived, Ground Zero, where the bomb was placed for the explosion, and the Schmidt McDonald Ranch House, where the plutonium core to the bomb was assembled. Visitors to Trinity Site Open House are given the opportunity to visit Ground Zero and the Ranch House. In addition, one of the old instrumentation bunkers is visible beside the road just west of Ground Zero. The story of Trinity Site begins with the formation of the Manhattan Project in June of 1942. The project was given overall responsibility for designing and building an atomic bomb. At the time, it was a race to beat the Germans, who, according to intelligence reports, were building their own atomic bomb. Under the Manhattan Project, three large facilities were constructed at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, huge gas diffusion and electromagnetic processing plants were built to separate uranium from its common form. Hanford, Washington became the home to nuclear reactors, which produced a new, el uh, new element called plutonium. Both uranium and plutonium are fissionable and can be used to produce an atomic explosion. Los Alamos National Lab was established in northern New Mexico with the primary purpose of designing and building the bomb. At Los Alamos, many of the greatest scientific minds of the day labored over the theory and actual construction of the device. The group was led by Dr. J. Oppenheimer, who is create, credited with being the driving force behind building a workable bomb by the end of the war. Right here, you can see actual pictures from the explosion, which was really cool. So this is all, this is within, you know, a quarter of a second right here. That's what it looked like. And as the bomb's going off, you can see that getting bigger and bigger. And then it goes into like the typical mushroom cloud, uh, like three or four seconds oh there's 15 seconds that's what that says so yeah 15 seconds it goes off the mushroom cloud here's an aerial view of like the crater and the devastation afterwards this is still there today that's the footing uh, of the original tower that the bomb was actually on 
And then this is just a replica. You can see right here, this is a post-World War II atomic bomb casing, almost identical to the Fat Man bomb, which was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan in, in, during World War II. The average fireball temperature from a nuclear explosion is 14,700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just crazy. So they have a, uh, a bus that takes you to the uh, house that they actually worked on all this stuff on. So I'm going to see if I can hop on that bus and go out there. So this bus is taking me to the Schmidt McDonald house, which is where the engineers actually worked on assembling the plutonium core of the bomb. Although no information on the test was released until after the atomic bomb was used as a weapon against Japan, people in New Mexico knew something had happened. The shockwave broke windows 120 miles away and was felt by many at least 160 miles away. Army officials simply stated that a munitions storage area had accidentally exploded at the Alamogordo bombing <coughs> range, which was a lie. And this house had the windows blown out and a lot of damage was done to the roof and the barn i think is no longer there um so this house had a lot of damage but the army did rebuild it in i believe it was the 70s so the explosion did not make much of a crater it was about four feet deep and 240 feet in diameter most eyewitnesses describe the area as more of a small depression instead of a distinct crater, which is true because being there, you didn't really see a whole lot. Um, there wasn't really a, a big crater. Um, the heat of the blast vaporized the steel tower and melted the desert sand and turned it into a green glassy substance. It was called Trinitite. You can still find the Trinitite uh there at ground zero and you can pick it up and everything it's a little bit radioactive i believe but you can pick it up and handle it you're not allowed to take it though they do have signs posted like if you pocket trinitite and we find you you will be arrested but the funny thing is driving out i saw people selling it so i'm like how did you guys end up getting it if you're gonna be out there selling it so uh, which is pretty crazy but they ended up bulldozing basically and burying all the trinitite and um you know the radio radioactive um, what's the word that i'm looking for the radiation there is not very uh high it's it's not more than like the sun gives you which i i thought was really weird so also if you ever go there's a really good place to get a green chili cheeseburger right up the road so i hope you see this one day so you guys are going to have a lot of information coming at you for sure uh, right now i'm going to enjoy the seventh best cheeseburger in the united states and uh other than that that's the end of this video so i will see you guys next week thanks for tuning in um i don't ask that often uh, but you know like and subscribe let's go let's go i'm this close to like being one of those guys that can like do youtube